Shall we start reading the next stanza? My heart was so light that I sang day and night. For all nature looked gay. You sang, sir, you say. Go then, says the ant, and dance the winter away. My heart was so light that I sang day and night. For all nature looked gay. You sang, sir, you say. Go then, says the ant, and dance the winter away. Thus ending, he hastily lifted the wicket and out of the door turned the poor little cricket. Folks call this a fable. I will warrant it true. Some crickets have four legs and some have two. Adapted from Aesop's fable. Adapted from Aesop's fable. The ant and the cricket, we are going to the next thing. My heart was so light. And we have already seen that. Who is going to talk here? The cricket. The ant gave the reply as, We ants will never borrow and we ants will never lend things. Now, what the cricket is saying? And there is a question mark by the ant. What is a question mark by the ant? He is asking a question. We ants will never borrow and we will never lend things. But dear cricket, what did you do by summer season? Don't you save anything? The cricket is replying that, no, not I. Why he did not save anything? Because his heart was so light. And heart was so light means it was not concerned about the future days. And it was not in a mood of being bothered. Okay. It was not concerned and it was not bothered over there. Since it was not bothered, it sang day and night. For all nature looked gay. For all nature looked gay. What is this gay children? Gay means it is something here careless. And if you have noticed in foreign countries, you would come to know that in foreign countries, like the winter season will be completely snow spraying, snow snakes will, snow flakes will just fall off and will, it will cover the whole ground. People could not walk there and people will never come out of the house. But during this summer season, no, they will come out of their house, they will have good time and they used to enjoy a lot. It is contradictory in our climate. During summer, we don't feel like going out of our house, no? And always I used to tell my children that here we have only three climates. It is hotter, hottest. Okay, hot, hotter and hottest climate. We don't have any other season over here. So you have to imagine here that this poem is set in foreign countries. During summer season, it was the cricket's heart was so light that it sang day and night for all nature looked gay. Gay means careless. Now the ant is replying, you sang sir, you say. Now the ant is replying, you sang sir, you say. Now you can see the ant is passing a comment over there. Sir, you told me who is the sir over here? It is cricket. Cricket, you told me you sang during the month of summer, during the months of season of summer. Now, go then, okay. He is just telling him, passing a comment. Go then, says the ant, and dance the winter away. You sang during the season of summer. Now, do one thing. You don't have any food to eat. You don't have a place to live. Better do one thing. Go home and dance the winter away. Nothing to worry. You did not worry during the summer season. The same, you have nothing to worry here during the winter season. See the comment which is passed by the aunt. Okay. The same way children, you are not supposed to be commented by your friends. Your friends will comment, you know, during the exams all, when you seek their help for writing something, they will comment, you know, go man, I will not give you my textbook. I will not give you my classwork notebook. 
Don't be like that. You do your work when the work is given by the teacher. Listen to the classes properly. Observe the classes properly. Do your work regularly. Be on time. And you be the person who is ready to help others. Is it clear for everyone? You be the person. Like you get ready to help others. Don't always seek the help of others. That is not going to help you at any extent. You be the one who lend things, who give things to others. Is it clear for everyone? No one should come at you telling that, come on, you enjoy. You do not do your work. Now don't come and ask me for any help. As the cricket is told by the ant. Okay, now you can see like the ant is just passing a comment towards cricket. You just sang during the season of summer. Now you go and dance the winter away. See how it is passing a comment over there. Next, thus ending, he hastily lifted the wicket. You can see in the picture how the cricket is standing. He hastily lifted the wicket. Wicket means the cricket did not get anything over here. Okay, the cricket did not get anything over here. He hastily lifted the wicket. Okay, when the umpire just says wicket, he will lift up his hands like this, no? So, when the cricket is not getting anything, he is lifting up its wicket. Wicket means you can just imagine his legs over there, the way it stands in the picture. And out of the door turned the poor little cricket. After saying wicket, wicket means he did not get anything. Now, he is moving out of the ant's house. And out of the door turned the poor little cricket. The poor little cricket is moving out of the ant's house without getting anything. Fox. Fox means people, group of people. Call this as a fable. I have already told you what is called fable. Fox call this as a fable. I will warrant it true. But I will acclaim, I will just claim this to be true. It is something true even children. Some crickets have four legs and some have two. Here I pause to make you think on this line. Some crickets have four legs and some have two. Come on, think over and tell me. Just to connect this with the fable, I have already told you what is called fable children. Fable is a story which gives you moral through the characters of animals. Some crickets have four legs and some have two. Crickets have four legs and some have two. And this is an extract adapted from Aesop's fable. Okay, what is the meaning of this line? Some crickets have four legs and some have two. You are thinking? Yes, think. Thus, again I will read you. Thus ending, he hastily lifted the wicket. Okay, he did not get anything. So, it will have four legs now. It is lifting two of its leg and it is standing like this. You can see in the picture which is given in your book also, the cricket will stand like this. After listening to the speech of the ant, the cricket will stand like this. And after some time, it will start moving out of the ant's house. What it will do? It will start moving out of the ant's house. What is next line? Folks call this as a fable. I will warrant it true. Who is this I? The poet is telling that he will claim this to be the true incident. Why he will claim this to be the true incident? Because this will happen in reality. Come to the next line. Some crickets have four legs and some have two. Who is this some have two? Yes. Who is this some have two? It is nothing but human being children. Through the character of the cricket, human is portrayed here. Only we people will have two legs, no? Okay. Insects will have four legs or not? Yes, and some have two. Some have two is, it is the human beings. From where this poem is adapted? This poem is adapted from 
is of fable okay i have already told you is of is a person who has written many fables as you hear from your grandparents the lion and the mouse the fox and the crow okay he has written many fables this the ant and the cricket is from is of fable is of is a person who has written many fables and this is one among them are you clear now come here the ants and the cricket here you can see some cricket have four legs and some have two here there is a indirect comparison have you come across the poetical device metaphor children so i have introduced you anaphora the next poetical device which i am introducing you is metaphor what is the next poetical device metaphor what is the meaning of the word metaphor metaphor means it is indirect comparison what is the meaning of the word metaphor indirect comparison here i made you to think over here some crickets have four legs who are these crickets it is an insects and some have two who are these two it is humans we humans we humans are indirectly compared over here so what is the figure of speech metaphor am i clear children if there is any direct comparison that is called as simile have you come across a poetical device called simile we are not using simile over here but we are using metaphor metaphor means indirect comparison because here it is not given in a straight way that it is human beings but indirectly it is told like some have to who are the two it is human beings who are the two it who are the one who has two legs it is human beings so what is a poetical device used here a indirect comparison of human being is made here a indirect comparison of human being is made here so what is a figure of speech metaphor from the beginning you can see i have given you the rhyme scheme i have given you alliteration i spoke about personification then in the previous slide in today's session i told you about anaphora and what is the poetical device last i am going to give you metaphor am i clear children again i'll tell you you can write it down in your notebook please do it accordingly when you are going to refer it again you should get something from your notebook you can start writing in your class work notebook every day when the session is going on don't come with doubts have your class work notebook in hand write the date and start writing is it clear what are the figures of speech i have given you rhyme scheme i have given you alliteration i have given you personification i have given you anaphora i spoke about anaphora in the previous slide and this is metaphor when i come for zoom online session i'll ask you question on this what are the figures of speech or what is the poetical devices which is used here am i clear children so be clear with the poetical devices metaphor again i am just insisting over here to highlight metaphor means indirect comparison cricket is compared with the one who is having two legs who are the one who is having two legs it is humans am i clear children okay now i have told you that it's a fable this poem is a fable what is the meaning of the word fable i have told you already uh, what is the meaning of the word fable come on fable means it is what is the meaning of the word fable children fable means it is wait one minute i'll show you hmm. fable means it is a story which has animals as character but they convey a strong moral does this poem convey a strong moral to us yes it conveys a strong moral what is the moral children if you are not going to work hard okay we will not have anything in future we have to struggle in future the cricket did not work hard and it struggled a lot in future it should not happen in our life so this poem is conveying a moral to the one who is having two legs and who is the one who is having two legs it is 
humans am i clear children so the poem is over here i will meet you in next session thank you children